What's up, everybody? Turbo Man, 351, coming at ya. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. It's January 6th. Haven't quite posted the video in a week time. Um, two weeks. It's two weeks too long. Got a lot of stuff to tell you on the channel and what's going down. Okay. Update on the T-56. Woohoo! We're getting one. We got $2,000 saved already. We only need a grand. We're halfway there. And we'll probably get it next month. So that's a big one, dude. Yeah. We're going in that puppy. Yes. 808 horsepower. T-56. Six-speed Magnum. Woo! Get you some. And just down the road, we might just... Put some dog rings in it, dude. You know what I mean? And turn it into a dog box, you know? Where you don't have to use the clutch just to come out of first gear. And then everything from two to five is click, 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 click. And you're gone. And I mean, you're gone. I mean, we're talking at a buck sixty and a twink of an eye. Amen? Amen. Another thing, the LS engine. Check it out. Boom. I sold the other one. The blue one, gone. Facebook Marketplace, what a great thing to have there for Facebook. I sold that in a matter of one day. Guy came from New Jersey, boom, that was $1,300. Sold those two turbos I had too. Yep, those nice ones, they're gone. We'll get another one. But anyway, yeah, I put can bearings in this today by myself. The cam tool came in yesterday from Summit, and I ate about, oh... I probably ate about two sets of bearings. It's like we're about 50 bucks in bearings. Um, on these cam tools, okay, you know, that one right there, they're pretty long. It's like a big stick. Um, that expander thing at the end where you got to really tighten it down, well, I wasn't tightening it down tight enough, and I was just chewing right through the bearings. And then I realized I really had to crank on that expander joint to where it expanded enough to grab the whole bearing and knock it in evenly. And I wasn't. I was expanded all the way down, and I was going through inside the bearing. And it was, it was crazy. But I finally got it, and it worked out great. The tool is excellent. So now we can put cam bearings in, which means we can build our own engines now. Outstanding. Okay? That is just awesome, dude. So, and here's the thing. I got the absolute LS combination that everybody wants. This is the combination that Sloppy made a thousand horsepower on and that everybody wants this combination here. When they're out in the junkyards, this is what they want. Either you get the 5.3, okay, Gen 4, Gen 3, whatever. You get the flat top pistons, yeah, buddy, and you get the Gen 4 connecting rod, okay. So flat tops, Gen 4 rods, 5.3, she's all honed, dingle ball honed, okay? And then I had to buy two sets of heads just to get one set good. Because you know how all those header bolts break off in those LS heads? Yeah, hey, it's crazy, man. I got 706 heads, man. Those things are nasty with flat top pistons. It's like 10 to 4 compression. And in a turbo car, it's nasty. Nasty, nasty. You got really quick spool times and everything. So I got two sets of 706 heads, man. You know, because those header bolts are crazy. You know, you got one there, and you got one I haven't, you know, taken out yet. See it? Yeah. And I tried to take one out myself, and I just boogered up the head so bad that, well, I had to throw it in the trash. I mean, I still, I saved the parts off of it, but... I know, go figure, you know what I mean? Gosh, dude. I don't know what it is about LS heads, man. Uh, they're notorious for roaching lifters. Like, you better get yourself two sets of lifters. That's the first thing. Second thing is, they roach cam bearings like you wouldn't believe, okay? Which is notorious for that. I don't understand. It's like these LS engines, you really got to put them together just right. If not, they'll be crap and they'll blow up on you i mean it's just ridiculous that's why you need a ford 351 windsor okay if you've ever noticed this that they copied a lot from that 351 windsor platform 
with the LS engine. If you ever noticed that, look on LS engine and you'll see a lot of similarities there. Wonder why LS engine headers will bolt almost up to a 351 Windsor. Pretty weird. Hmm, I wonder. But anyway, so we got that going on. I want to give a quick update, dude. The motor's coming along. We're coming. We're going to probably get another one, maybe a 6-liter, play with that, build that, sell that. I don't know. But we're just going to keep pumping them out of here, dude. I'm looking for another 351 Windsor as a backup motor for this car here just to have on standby. Um, but I think we're pretty good, though. You know, I'm not pushing this car crazy. But when we get to T56, it's going to be fun. <laughs> so, um... We're going to hit that 200 miles an hour, dude. I'm telling you, we're going to do it. I mean, having that double overdrive really helps the RPMs. And uh, there's one other guy on YouTube in a white Mustang uh, that says 200 or bust on the wing, you know. And he did it in a four-speed car. I was like, man, how did he do it in a four-speed? I don't know, interesting, without buzzing. I mean, the motor had to have been like a chainsaw when he was in the top gear hitting 200, but I don't know. Maybe some NASCAR Jericho transmission, probably. But anyway, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hang with us, dude. Got a lot more content coming on this channel. Some other cars, some other shenanigans, and we're gonna keep it live here through you. So keep watching. Thanks, guys. Peace.